The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 18b. In our acceptance, dominants, in their succession, displace preceding dominants not only because they are more nearly positive, but because the old dominants, as recruiting mediums, play out. Our expression is that the new dominant, of wider inclusions, is now manifesting throughout the world, and that the old exclusionism is everywhere breaking down. In physics exclusionism is breaking down by its own researches in radium, for instance, and in its speculations upon electrons, or its merging away into metaphysics, and by the desertion that has been going on for many years by such men as Gurney, Crookes, Wallace, Flammarion, and Lodge, to formerly disregarded phenomena, no longer called spiritualism, but now psychic research. Biology is in chaos. Conventional Darwinites mixed up with mutationists and orthogenesists and followers of Wiseman who take from Darwinism one of its pseudo-bases, and nevertheless try to reconcile their heresies with orthodoxy. The painters are metaphysicians and psychologists. The breaking down of exclusionism in China and Japan and in the United States has astonished history. The science of astronomy is going downward so that, though Pickering, for instance, did speculate upon a trans-Neptunian planet, and Lowell did try to have accepted heretical ideas as to Mars on Mars, attention is now minutely focused upon such technicalities as variations and shades of Jupiter's fourth satellite. I think that, in general acceptance, over-refinement indicates decadence. I think that the stronghold of inclusionism is in aeronautics. I think that the stronghold of the old dominant, when it was new, was in the invention of the telescope, or that coincidentally with the breakdown of exclusionism appears the means of finding out whether there are vast aerial fields of ice and floating lakes full of frogs and fishes or not, where carved stones and black substances and great quantities of vegetable matter and flesh, which may be dragons, flesh, come from, whether there are interplanetary trade routes and vast areas devastated by super tame airlines, where sometimes there are visitors to this earth, who might be pursued and captured and questioned,